mobile shopping goes mainstream, holiday shopping was big for small business, and a six foot eight, 15 year old swims onto the cover and into the spotlight. This is BizWire TV, where your news is made. I'm Erin Aid, and top of the wire this week, record setting holiday shopping with mobile use being off the charts. Business Wire broke all the data stories throughout the week, so let's break them down for you now. Adobe tracks online sales and says they've been astronomical. Cyber Monday clocked in as the largest online sales day in history. A record $2.9 billion spent, which is up 12% from last year. The Thanksgiving week, that's Thanksgiving Day through Cyber Monday, thanked $11 billion in total online sales, which is up 15%. And Adobe says its tracking data projects December to see a billion dollars a day. That's billion with a B. Now, the story was posted throughout big media outlets like NBC News, and our new V social media monitor recorded a total reach of more than 7 million people. Also setting records, mobile shopping, and it's gone mainstream. Walmart stores have been busy, but mobile shopping was even busier. The retailer says that mobile shopping is making up more than 70% of traffic to Walmart.com. And nearly half of orders between Thanksgiving and Cyber Monday were placed on a mobile device. That's twice as many as last year. Most popular purchase, Star Wars toys, large 4K HD TVs, drones, and gaming consoles. The biggest mobile moment for shoppers was on Thanksgiving morning. That's according to Hook Logic, a performance marketing platform. It says 71% of all e-commerce traffic came from mobile devices at 7 a.m. Eastern time on Thanksgiving day. While we're talking mobile, let's talk showrooming. Now, have you ever heard of it? Because I hadn't until now, but showrooming is when you're comparing prices online while you're shopping at a retail store. A new report from Interactive Advertising Bureau says about half of all shoppers do this now with 18 to 34 year olds showrooming the most. And they're probably showrooming tech because tech is top for shoppers in stores like Target and Best Buy. The Consumer Technology Association says 57 million people bought tech products during the Thanksgiving shopping week. Smartphones, TVs, and tablets top the list, and making it into the top 10 for the first time what the CTA calls emerging tech, such as fitness activity trackers and digital media streaming devices. It was big business for small business Saturday. The National Federation of Independent Business and American Express reported record sales during the annual shopping event. More than 95 million consumers shopped at small businesses across the country. That's an 8% increase over last year. Moving on to other top trending stories, it's game on for Lenovo. Our new V monitor shows 21 million people were reached when the PC company announced it's partnering with gaming device leader Razer to create a gaming desktop. The special co-branded gaming device will be launched in January at CES 2016. And nearly 22 million people were reached when a six foot eight, 15 year old swim champ made a name for himself by making the cover of Sports Illustrated Kids. My name is Reese Whitley. I'm in 10th grade at the William Penn Charter School, and I grew up in Lafayette Hill, Pennsylvania, just right outside of Philadelphia. Reese was named Sports Kid of the Year. Sports Illustrated Kids says they chose him over thousands of other entries because he embodied the spirit of the prize. He's talented, he's humble, and he genuinely cares about helping others. He sounds like a good kid to me. Reese has also won junior national and world championships and will be competing in the 2016 U.S. Olympic trials this spring. A disruptor in the entrepreneur education industry is offering global startup experience to young professionals. Sage Corp sends top college students abroad to intern with tech startups. It's now offering a global entrepreneurship program for young professionals. The Chicago company says candidates will spend two to three months abroad interning for startups. The first participants leave in February for Buenos Aires, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Sydney. The program costs up to $3,650, which Sage Corp says is in line with standard college study abroad programs. And finally, it is the season for charity and ugly Christmas sweaters, so why not knit the two together? That's what UglyChristmasSweater.com is doing. It's teamed up with more than a dozen fashion designers from the hit show Project Runway. The designers, like Season 12's Brayden McDonald, are creating one-of-a-kind ugly sweaters for people and pets, which will be auctioned off on Bidding for Good. Money raised will go to two charities, Leave No Paws Behind and the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Be sure to catch BizWire TV every Friday and the Accelerator Report on Sundays and check out more top news at any time on businesswire.com.